Hong Kong, the bustling metropolis known for its stunning skyline, delicious dim sum, and vibrant culture. But did you know that amidst the glitz and glamour, there are some truly bizarre laws and customs that are unique to this incredible city? That's right. From quirky regulations to centuries-old traditions, Hong Kong has its fair share of surprises waiting to be uncovered. In this video, we're delving deep into the lesser-known side of Hong Kong uncovering 15 strange laws and customs that you won't believe exist in this dynamic city. Let's dive in. Number 1. Loud Selling In Hong Kong, vendors are prohibited from calling out to attract buyers or sellers. Put simply, this means not yelling loudly to try to get customers' attention. However, you may wonder the reason behind this. Let's explore further the reasons for this law that may appear unusual at first glance. This law originates from the colonial era when British rulers aimed to control the disorderly markets in Hong Kong. The goal was to establish a trading atmosphere that was more organized and refined without the chaos of conflicting voices. Although the colonial era has ended, this law continues to be in effect, serving as an interesting reminder of Hong Kong's history. What occurs if you are found breaking this law? You may be taken aback to discover that the consequences are quite lenient. Criminals may receive a penalty of only $50 in Hong Kong dollars. You may consider that amount insignificant for many sellers. And you would be correct. Many sellers view it as a minor cost for the chance to gain more customers. And that is where the paradox of this strange law is found. Although it might be considered against the law to conduct loud selling, the tradition remains popular in Hong Kong's markets. Ultimately, in a city famous for its lively street atmosphere and busy markets, some noise is simply part of the charm. Number 2. Compensation for damage to crops Hunting wild animals in Hong Kong is generally not allowed. Yes, you can go through the necessary steps to obtain a hunting license from the Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation Department. But trust me, those licenses are extremely hard to come by, as rare as spotting a unicorn. Furthermore, the government eliminated their pig hunting team a couple of years ago and chose to implement a trap, neuter, release initiative in order to control the wild boar population discuss a crazy turn of events. Now, let's suppose you are able to obtain one of those hard-to-get hunting licenses. Congratulations! However, there is a small catch, literally. If you or your hunting dogs accidentally disrupt any of those valuable crops while searching, you should be ready to pay for any damages incurred. Yes, indeed. In Hong Kong, there is a special system where hunters are responsible for any harm done to crops in public areas. Whether you are an experienced hunter or an inquisitive traveler, Always be careful when exploring Hong Kong's city streets. In this lively city, even the crops must follow specific rules and regulations. Number 3. Permits for Dragon and Lion Dances You may be asking yourself, why would anyone require a permit to do these famous dances? Allow me to illuminate you. These captivating shows are firmly connected to Hong Kong's cultural traditions, proudly included in the Intangible Cultural Heritage Inventory. However, there is a catch not everyone is allowed to hit the streets and begin dancing. Groups must request permission in advance. Before the magnificent dragons and lions can parade through the streets, their caretakers must navigate a complex bureaucratic process. Why do you ask about all the bureaucratic procedures? Actually, there is quite a fascinating backstory to it. In the past, it was not uncommon to witness conflicts between competing dance groups. Additionally, to make things more interesting, a lot of those participating in these conflicts had rather interesting pasts. Some had even had encounters with law enforcement. Therefore, the authorities put these regulations in place to maintain peace and guarantee the safety of performers and spectators alike. It's more than just keeping tradition alive. It's also about upholding order in Hong Kong's busy streets. However, there's a catch. If you choose to disobey these rules, be ready to deal with the repercussions. Fines of up to HK$2,000 and the possibility of spending up to six months in jail are being discussed. That's a considerable amount to pay for an impromptu dance show, don't you think? Number 4. Penalty for using the tramway with flange-wheeled carriages In Hong Kong, only trams are allowed on the tramway rails. However, it seems that certain individuals required a prompt about that. Therefore, in order to eliminate any misunderstandings, a particular rule is being enforced. And here's the twist. If you're found using the tramway with your personal flange-wheeled carriage, you'll be subject to a HK$100 penalty. Indeed, a punishment for attempting to use the tram tracks as a personal walking path. You may be asking yourself, why is this rule so stringent? Besides being illegal, it is also very dangerous. 
Imagine this, trams smoothly moving along their specified route, only to come across an unforeseen hindrance, a homemade trolley or wagon blocking their path. It not only causes traffic to flow less smoothly, but also presents a major safety risk for both tram riders and pedestrians. If you're in Hong Kong, whether you're a resident or just visiting, always remember this important rule. Let the trams have priority on the tramway. Believe me, it's necessary for the safety and sanity of all individuals. And if you're ever tempted to embark on your own impromptu tram journey, just remember the HK dollar 100 penalty waiting for you. Number five, dial down your drunken antics. Were you aware that in this lively city, drinking excessively in public can lead to trouble? As per regulations, being drunk in public is strongly discouraged. Whether you're leaving a bar in a stumble, dancing at a concert, or simply indulging too much in the lively city atmosphere. And can you believe it? Your nighttime adventure may end up costing you more than just a good time. In addition to nursing a possible headache the next day, your crazy night out could also end up causing a significant hole in your finances. You're wondering how heavy? Get ready, as it is a hefty $50 penalty. Are you serious? $50? You might be wondering. Not too bad, but wait. There's more to it than just the fine. So hold on to your cocktails, everyone. Receiving a fine is not only about the financial penalty, it involves the shame of getting caught, the trouble of facing authorities, and the possible harm to your image. Additionally, we shouldn't disregard the downer of needing to become sober while in the midst of enjoying ourselves. Therefore, whether you are a resident or a tourist enjoying the lively nightlife of Hong Kong, make sure to tone down your intoxicated behavior and party responsibly. In the end, no one wants to have their evening out ruined by a fine and a headache, right? Number six, no singing in the beach. Were you aware that singing your favorite songs on the beach in Hong Kong could lead to trouble? Exactly. Singing and playing musical instruments at Hong Kong's beaches may lead to an undesirable memento of your vacation, a 14-day stay in jail. You may be curious why something as innocent as singing is strongly discouraged on Hong Kong's beaches. In the end, it all comes down to some quite unusual laws and customs. In Hong Kong, music matters are taken seriously. Young aspiring musicians, pay attention. Before attempting to sing to the waves, you must first navigate through a complex system of permits and regulations. You can submit permit applications to the police licensing office, and the best part is, they don't cost anything. However, there is a major caveat. There is no assurance of easy progress. If your application is rejected, too bad. There is no opportunity to appeal, my friends. Make sure you are in top vocal and guitar form, as this is your one chance to shine. Number seven, no swearing at animals in Ocean Park. Okay, let's discuss Ocean Park. This famous theme park located in Hong Kong features exciting attractions, captivating sea creatures, and stunning scenery. However, were you aware that among its 16-page rulebook is a clause that is both odd and surprisingly practical? Imagine yourself walking through Ocean Park, admiring the magnificent animals living there, when all of a sudden, you hear someone using foul language. Even with the peaceful surroundings and breathtaking views, certain people feel the urge to spew a series of curse words. But there's a stipulation. It's completely forbidden. In accordance with Ocean Park's rules, it is not allowed to use foul language, shout, or disrupt other visitors or the animals. And to be frank, what reason would there be for anyone to disturb the tranquility or inflict harm on these lovely animals? It's truly unimaginable. You may be asking yourself, what is the reason for this particular rule? Consider it. Ocean Park goes beyond being just a theme park. It serves as a safe haven for marine animals, prioritizing conservation and showing respect for them. By implementing this regulation, the park guarantees that both tourists and locals can live together peacefully. Number eight, picking flowers. You may be asking yourself why picking flowers in Hong Kong is prohibited. I'll provide some clarification on this. The law is derived from the Forests and Countryside Ordinance with the goal of safeguarding the beauty and biodiversity of government-owned lands in Hong Kong. Throughout the years, there have been regrettable incidents of vandalism occurring in parks and other green areas. People may not realize the environmental consequences when they pick flowers, upsetting the fragile equilibrium of the ecosystem. This resulted in the government enforcing a strict rule that prohibits individuals from legally picking any bud, blossom, or leaf on government land. However, there is additional information the law applies to more than just flowers. It also provides protection for other elements of the environment. As per the regulation, cattle and goats are also not allowed to trespass. You could be wondering, cattle and goats in Hong Kong? Indeed, it may seem surprising, 
but in some rural regions, these creatures wander without constraint, potentially endangering the environment and public safety. Therefore, the law guarantees protection for both plants and animals. Now, let's try to see things from the perspective of the policymakers for a brief moment. Picture a scenario where individuals began harvesting flowers at their own discretion. The beautiful green vegetation we love in Hong Kong may slowly vanish, causing disruption to the fragile ecosystems. Although it may appear unimportant initially, this rule is essential for maintaining the natural charm of the busy city. Number 9. Nuisances Committed in Public Places Imagine this. As you walk through the lively streets of Hong Kong, absorbing the sights and sounds, you suddenly notice something strange. A racehorse leisurely walking through the downtown area? Hold on, really? Surprisingly, there are laws in place that govern the use of working animals within the city. Therefore, if you had intentions of showcasing your valuable racehorse in the city, you may need to reconsider your plans. If you allow your dog to wander freely, you may be fined HK dollar 500 and could spend up to three months in jail. I can't speak for everyone, but seeing a horse trotting through the streets of Hong Kong definitely makes me do a double take. However, that's just one of the numerous quirks that contribute to the intrigue of this city. Number 10. Rock Carvings Are you aware that carving on rocks is strictly prohibited in Hong Kong? Engraving your initials into a tree or carving your name onto a park bench is a popular activity in some places, but it is not allowed in Hong Kong. However, you may inquire about the reason. Ultimately, it's about making a united push to protect the city's environment and stop graffiti from ruining its scenery. Hong Kong is known for having some of the most breathtaking rock formations and picturesque locations worldwide. From the famous Lion Rock to the beautiful Dragon's Back, these natural marvels are cherished by residents and visitors equally. Now consider if all tourists chose to leave their imprint, etching messages or symbols onto these historic rocks. Wouldn't it rapidly reduce the attractiveness and appeal of these untouched natural areas? In order to address the possible danger to Hong Kong's natural heritage, strict laws have been put in place to prohibit rock carvings. Carving on rocks or roads, whether it be a basic initial or a complex design, is not allowed under any circumstances. And I must say, the penalties for violating this law can be very severe, including fines or even incarceration. Number 11. Sending filthy messages. During the era of emojis and instant messaging, there is a regulation in Hong Kong that forbids the transmission of indecent or obscene messages through wireless telephony or telegraph. While you're occupied sharing adorable cat videos or humorous memes with your friends, you may want to reconsider before sending anything too risky. Now, let's analyze it further. Picture yourself having a conversation with your partner and wanting to make things more exciting with a playful message. Well, that could get you into trouble in Hong Kong. Since 2013, there have been severe penalties for harassment, which can include fines as high as $1,000. How about those unwelcome penis photos? For sure not okay, people. However, what is the reason behind the existence of this law? The reason behind it is to uphold public standards and safeguard people from unwelcome advances or harassment. In a city like Hong Kong, which is diverse and lively, it is crucial to maintain respect for others, even online. Number 12. Unlawful Assembly Imagine being with your friends in Hong Kong, soaking in the lively atmosphere of the streets, when unexpectedly, you stumble upon a crowd of over 30 individuals. Doesn't that sound like a fun time? However, there is a condition. Under Hong Kong regulations, if you are walking in a group of over 30 individuals without informing the commissioner of police in advance, you could face an unexpected situation. Wait just a moment, please. You may be curious about the significance of walking with a group. Well, this is where things start to get intriguing. In Hong Kong, the laws regarding illegal gatherings are primarily focused on upholding public order and safety. Therefore, although your intentions may be pure, the law is designed to avoid any possible disturbances or disorder. Were you aware that this legislation pertains to more than just strolling along the road? Oh no, it surpasses that. Consider activities such as pub golf or Christmas crawls. Those enjoyable events where you and your friends visit several venues around the city. If your group surpasses 30 members, make sure to inform the commissioner of police. Now, let's pause and acknowledge the undeniable distinctiveness of this legislation. I mean, where else in the world must you inform the authorities before going out with your group of friends? It's similar to a kind reminder from the authorities. Hey, enjoy yourself. Just remember to keep us informed, all right? 
Setting jokes aside, individuals may find these laws peculiar, but they play a crucial role in upholding order and guaranteeing the safety of all. When you are organizing a large gathering with your friends in Hong Kong, don't forget to keep that special number in mind. Number 13. Getting a latte on someone's dress in the Engong Ping cable car. Picture yourself cruising through the beautiful landscape of Hong Kong's Engong Ping cable car, admiring the stunning views, when all of a sudden you unintentionally spill your latte on someone's outfit. An unintentional error, correct? Hang on, because in Hong Kong, a mistake is not just a minor error, it could become a legal issue. Deep within Hong Kong's legal system, there is an interesting rule that forbids people from dirtying the attire or belongings of other passengers on public transportation. Correct, making a mess with your coffee or unintentionally touching someone's clothing could get you into trouble. You may be asking yourself, what is the reason for this peculiar regulation? It appears that lawmakers in Hong Kong have a strong appreciation for luxury items, such as fashion. This legislation is created with the aim of maintaining the respect and visual appeal of travelers, guaranteeing that all individuals maintain a polished appearance, even in unforeseen situations. Consider this. You are riding in a cable car with unknown individuals, possibly even attractive individuals. A single accidental spill could lead to not only apologizing sincerely, but also potentially dealing with a legal action. Number 14, letting your dog annoy people. As per the regulations, if your beloved dog chooses to engage in a barking competition with the neighbors or people passing by, you may be subject to a significant penalty of $500 or up to three months in prison. Now, that is what I would consider a severe punishment. However, why is there a specific law like that? Allow me to explain it in simpler terms for you. Hong Kong is a vibrant city filled with crowds of people living their everyday lives. Amidst all the commotion and activity, it is crucial to cultivate moments of serenity, particularly for individuals residing in tight spaces. That's when our cuddly pets come in handy. Although we adore our dogs, their exuberant barking can occasionally disturb the tranquility of the neighborhood, and that's how this unusual law comes into effect. The law clearly states that your dog's excited barks should be directed towards neighbors and passers-by. When you take your dog for a walk, be sure to keep them on a short leash to prevent expensive fines or punishment. I'm talking about being in jail. However, we shouldn't overlook the positive aspect of this situation. By keeping our pets under control, we are not only following the rules, but also demonstrating consideration for those around us in the city. In the end, a content community is a joyful community. Don't you agree? Number 15, flying a keat in Central Station. It may be surprising, but at Central Station, there is a rule that bans the use of balloons, models, or any other flying objects on the railway property. Currently, you may be puzzled and asking yourself, what could possibly be the reason behind this rule? All right, let's analyze it step by step. First and foremost, it should be emphasized that safety is the top priority in every bustling transportation center. Just picture the disorder if all of a sudden everyone began releasing balloons or flying kites while busy commuters hurried to catch their trains. And we must also remember the creation of platform screen doors. These obstacles assist in ensuring the safety of passengers as they wait for their trains. Can you picture the disorder that would ensue if birthday balloons were floating around on the verge of getting loose onto the tracks? Furthermore, can you envisage the birthday boy or girl's dismay if their unique balloon present drifted off in the distance, never to be found again? Discuss someone who ruins the fun at a party. Next time you are at Central Station, try to control the temptation to let out your inner love for kites. Instead, choose a more secure type of amusement while you wait for your train. Until the next time comes, continue to explore, remain curious, and don't forget that the weirdest laws often lead to the most fascinating stories. Wishing you a secure journey, my friends.